before I start this video, I want to ask you to support me by subscribing to my channel. And please like this video if you find it helpful. And of course, if you have some questions or suggestions, welcome to the comments. And we jump right in. Hi everyone! The topic of today's video is localization of forms and validations. And we continue to delve deeper into the topic of the translation bundle. A link to the previous video on the basics of working with this bundle will now appear in the top right corner. Localization of forms and error messages during data input is a crucial aspect of developing multilingual applications in Symfony. When your application supports multiple languages, it is essential to ensure that users can interact with the application in their preferred language. Furthermore, localization error messages during data validation is of particular importance. When a user makes a mistake, an informative error message in their native language helps them better understand what needs to be corrected to successfully fill out the form. Next, there will be a step-by-step -step guide on creating localized forms and error messages. In this video, we will be looking at the scenario where forms in your project are created using the form component. In this case, we will be translating the registration form. Let's open it and see how it looks. Now let's create the translation files. And now we will directly do the translations for labels and placeholders. Now, in the form class, we put the translation case in the appropriate places.
And of course, in the registration controller for the road, we must prefix it with a variable that is used to indicate the current local. Now let's check if form translations work or not. Yes, fine, everything is working. In this example, I used uh, messengers uh, as a domain name. In fact, messengers is the most commonly used domain for general application messengers. If you need to change the domain name, then you can do it as follows. After the changes have been made, check if the translations work. Yes, all is fine. Now let's work on localization validation error messages. Let's try how it works.
As you can see, nothing complicated. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and see you next time.